nine and a ninja to call back back to McFarland to take revenge on that this year. It's been tough. We've had some tough games. We've played all the top teams, and again, we've got a tough game today in one of the top teams in the top five. We've probably brought between 10 and 12 new faces into the dressing room, and it's very, very difficult to build that cohesion, like you say, in, in such a short space of time. When you're at a professional football club, they're in every day, they spend time together every day. So it is hard and it is difficult, and you need the right personalities to blend together. Well, we've got a good team spirit. I know the results hasn't really been going our way lately, but there's new faces coming in. We welcome the new faces. There's been some good additions, and we just really want to go up there and challenge for the playoffs, and I believe we can. Uh, I first started to uh, watch Stratford Town just over 20 years ago when I took early retirement from work, and in the last three or four seasons, been able to devote some time to volunteering. And we're very lucky living in Stratford. It's a fabulous town to live in. It's got so much going on. And it's got so many great people who are prepared to give up the town because only a great town because of what people do. I'm never in the boardroom. <laughs> I'm always out on the ground. I mean, I look after the give the financials as well. So I have my fingers in a few pies. And Well, I had to pay the electric bill. Um, last week and that was £1,600 for the month. To run an establishment like this without even kicking a ball, you're looking at having to find you know, several thousand pounds a month just to open the door, really. The magic way of getting people through the gates, it's not magic, really. It's, you have a successful football team that plays attractive football, but we can't survive without them. The reality is, we, you know, there's no point in us doing it if people don't want to come and watch it. <laughs> We spoke to the club in pre-season and we said that we were interested in doing a joint partnership. We sponsor the away, away kit and the home shorts as well um, and also we run a lot of um, competitions in line with the club so like today we've uh, got 12 tickets available uh, from a social media competition that we ran. It's difficult and it might not show at times on the pitch, but I think that comes with frustration more than disbelief. Um, if things aren't going your way, just get reminded of uh, previous results. And it's difficult, but the only people that can change it is us in the dressing room. We had a worse start to the season last year and we finished playoffs. We need to start to put a few results together, string a few wins together. The table can completely change. We can be up there.